y'all. Thank you so much for watching today. I wanted to share my favorite lip products of 2021 with you. Some of these are new releases. Some of these are products I tried for the first time this year. And they're all ones that made their way into my collection in the last 12 months. There's a variety of products here. And if you don't already know this about me, lipstick and lip products are like my favorite makeup item. Like if you had to tell me I could take one makeup item on a deserted island with me, <laughs> lipstick, and it just brings me joy. It does. It brings me joy. And so that's probably why I couldn't include my lip faves in my best products of 2021. If you want to see that, I will link it for you in the description box, as well as my eyeshadow ranking. Um, that has been kind of fun and slightly stressful to do. All right, so let's talk beautiful things. And I have them kind of by category. And I'm just going to tell you, I tried a few different lip liners this year. There were some good ones. I hate to tell you my favorite lip liner this year are the ones from Lisa Eldridge. <laughs> They're $25 a piece. I know, I feel like a monster every time I order one. These are the three I picked up this year, but I fell in love with this liner because in 2020, November of 2020, Lisa released lip liners in kits. And when she released these as individuals this fall, I snapped them up because I have been using this so much this year. Now, I don't know about you, I live in a state where there's still a mask mandate. We are still wearing masks indoors when we are not with the people that we live with. So my kids wear one to school every single day. I wear one when I go grocery shopping, uh, what I've been doing, any sort of like if I go to the library, if I have to go to my kids' school, when I'm going to church, I'm in a mask. And my favorite thing to do is to still wear a punchy lip color. But I end up with clown mouth if I don't wear liner alone and these liners oh my goodness they're so fantastic because they draw on beautifully they glide they're fantastic and then when they set they stay and you can have your mask rubbing up against your lips you could be talking and it could be your mask can be shifting back and forth and i don't end up with color outside of my mouth i don't know what magic there is in these I really, really love them. This one here is Blush. The second one is Muse. This one here is Beauty. And this one is Ribbon. I have used these so much. Um, and, and like one I've had for a while. I, it's not my most reached for color, but I do use it a lot. But I told myself I wanted to get a nude shade. I wanted to get a red shade. And I feel like I have everything I need right now to do most of my lip looks. I'm wearing the red one today. And not only are they great for really defining your lips and, and to really, as I get older, I feel like I'm losing volume in my lips. I don't feel like I am, I am losing volume in my lips. And it really does help to define the edge. Sometimes I can cheat the edge just a little without looking like a crazy person with these liners. And they're fantastic. And then they stay exactly where I put them and it keeps the product inside my lip lines. I feel like it's safe for me to wear a bold lip like this because I know these guys aren't gonna let them go anywhere. There were two lip gloss formulas that I discovered this year that I really enjoyed. My longtime love is the one from Beauty Pie. It's the Wonder Gloss Collagen Lip Oil. I love that so much. I have a ton of those. But the two that really surprised me uh, this right here, this lip jelly from Tower 28 has been a favorite of mine this year. This is one that I picked up during the Sephora VIB sale in the spring because in January I had picked up a little quad of minis that they had put out for the holidays and then they went on sale and I was like, I want to try those and I loved them so much. I used two of them up. I gave one to each of my girls. So between the three of us, we used all four of them up lickety split. So I was like, I want to try another one. This is the shade Cashew. It looks like this. It's so beautiful, so shiny. This is not a sticky gloss. It's not a heavy gloss. Um, it's beautiful and comfortable. I love the way that it looks over liner, over lipstick on its own. It's a really easy gloss to wear and the formulation is just truly beautiful. Another formula that I fell in love with this year is this one from Pat McGrath. This is the only shade I have, so I don't know if everything is as beautiful as this and I kind of don't want to find out because it's expensive. All right, so this is the shade Earth Angel 
and it was released with the blush, divine blush. Do, do you see? I'm like two thirds done with this. Like I have been going through this left, right, and center. I love this so much, but there's something really different and interesting, I think especially about this shade. And I don't know whether they all have this same kind of glittery, metallic shine to them. Do you see how it, like, it looks a little bit pearly pink and it looks kind of clear and it looks kind of gold. The way the light catches it, it looks beautiful on the lips. And I usually have a problem. Products that have shimmer particles suspended in it can sometimes irritate my lips. And then I, as the hydrating ingredients in them absorb into my skin, I am left with those little glitter flecks. I never have that problem with this. This looks beautiful. This is one of the most cosmetically elegant lip glosses with a sparkle that I have ever tried. They're expensive, but I would repurchase this when I run out of it in a heartbeat. I'm not gonna tell you that I'm a big liquid lipstick fan, cause I'm not. <laughs> But there were two formulas that I discovered this year that actually blew my socks off. Now, neither of these formulations are new. One has been around for several years and one was new in 2020. But I decided to try them because the sort of liquid lipstick I like is like a, it applies like a gloss where it's comfortable and it's hydrating. It, you know, will stay for a while, but I don't mind if there's transfer. If I'm drinking from a coffee cup, I don't mind leaving a lip print because I've been leaving lip prints since the day I started wearing lipstick at 14. Lipsticks always transfer to glasses, to mugs, to water bottles, to whatever. That doesn't bother me. Now it bothers some people, but what bothers me is when a lipstick will dry completely matte and then because it's going to be long wear, it's really drying and my lips turn into little shriveled raisins and then they start to peel and flake and it just gets uncomfortable and my lips get abused and there is no recovery. So I want something that's hydrating, that's comfortable. I don't care if you don't stay all day. I'm happy to reapply, but please, 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 please do not sap all the moisture from my lips. And I should have tried this when they first came out, but I was sure it was like all the other liquid lipsticks at the time. It's this. This is the Infinite Lip Cloud from M. I am wearing a little bit of this. I have it mixed with the lip liner and with another color I'm going to show you in a little bit. But this is beautiful. This is the shade Red Divine. I got this in January in a set that had the illustrative liner with it. So this basically goes on like a liquefied lipstick. It never really kind of dries down so it's impervious to smudging. It'll smudge, you know, if you put your finger in there even though it's not like dry, 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 but it's kind of more of a whipped creamy texture. But you can blot it down and it won't be quite as movable, but I love the shade. The shade is beautiful, but on top of that, it just is the most comfortable, almost a nourishing liquid lipstick. The other shade that I have is the shade Rose Nude. If I didn't already have like a super massive lipstick collection, I would get more of this formula because it really is absolutely gorgeous. So I'm glad that I have a nude and that I have a red, but I feel like this is really a elegant, comfortable formula. And I like that right off the bat, they are matte. The other formulation that I fell in love with is from Rare Beauty. These are the Lip Soufflés. I have a little set of minis. These were uh, a little, you know, try them, see how you like them set. Uh, the red is uh, my favorite. I love it so much. This one, it's more of a tomatoey red, and this one is called Inspire. Uh, these also are more of that whipped, soft, easy on your lips texture. The other shade I have is Fearless, and it's more of a deep kind of brownie nude shade on me. These have been super comfortable. I really like these when they have kind of more of that blotted look to them. They have kind of like that popsicle lip vibe, but it's not glossy. It's completely matte in appearance. I think they're really beautiful and very well done. If you're looking for a comfortable liquid lipstick, try the ones from M or the ones from Rare Beauty.
Just so you know, I am cleaning off my swatches and I am gonna have to get up and use some makeup remover on these because no amount of rubbing is getting them off. They stay forever, by the way, just FYI. Let's talk favorite affordable lipsticks. Oh my goodness, there's so many good ones. The one that I probably have used the most that I got this year is this. This is the e.l.f. Sheer Slick. This is the shade Black Cherry and it's a beautiful dupe, almost perfect dupe for the shade Black Honey in the Almost Lipstick Formula from Clinique. I know it's been super popular this year. This is super hard to come by if you happen to see it. I love this formulation. I had another shade, a peach shade that I didn't like. It felt kind of like a corally, almost neon orange on my lips. It wasn't very well suited to my skin tone, but this shade I use so much, I had to pull it out of my purse. It lives in my purse. It's beautiful. So at the beginning of this year, I was on a hunt for the perfect matte red lipstick from the drugstore, and I found some absolute gems. This was one that was one of my favorites. This is from CoverGirl. This is their 24 hour matte lipstick, and this is the shade The Real Thing. This lipstick is one of those that, that's one swipe, boom. It's instantly matte when you put it on. It has a nice glide to it. The, one of the problems that I have is when I sometimes I'm swiping on a lipstick, if it's dry or it's matte, sometimes it, it catches and then it skips along or it tugs and pulls at my lips. This one doesn't. This one just is like it glides instantaneously. It's fantastic. I love it. And I, I like also that an extra layer of it doesn't actually make it any darker. <laughs> it's already as pigmented coming straight out of the bullet the way that it is. I also like that it doesn't really smudge and smear. Remember I told you I'm still wearing masks in the state of Washington. This one, I feel like when I, I do put a mask over it, I might have a little bit of slightly, almost like a blurred lip line, but not like a messy clown face where like I have color out to here or all the way down here. I don't have that problem. This, when it kind of dries down, it stays and it's not dry and it's not uncomfortable and it doesn't turn my lips into raisins. This is a beautiful lipstick. I like the formula and I suspect that the rest of their colors would be just as lovely to wear. Another red that I fell in love with, and this formula, oh, I love it. This is the Maybelline Ultimate Slim Lipstick. Oh my goodness, this is another one that glides. It's beautiful. This one tends to be, they're both super matte. This one here tends to be just a little bit more kind of pink undertone. And this one here is called More Ruby. But I feel like both of these stay equally well. I feel like they don't dry out the lips. If you're looking for an affordable matte lipstick, I would get the 24 hour one from CoverGirl or I would get the Ultimate Slim Lipstick. Another one that I fell in love with and I, I'm surprised I picked this up because the idea of it just like terrified me. It's another one from Maybelline. This is the Colorstay Ink Crayon. And I wanted, I keep wanting to try the Colorstay ink lipsticks, the liquid lipsticks, but I, I'm too afraid to do it. Uh, but these are right up my alley. This one is in the shade Own Your Empire. It's super comfortable, I love it. My favorite thing about this is that there is a sharpener on the other side. So you can actually sharpen your lip crayon. So if you wanna use it as a lip liner, you can. If you don't wanna worry about that and you might, don't mind it getting a little bit rounded and, and kind of dulled down, it works really well, kind of like a thinner lipstick, but I love this. I like to sharpen it, line my lips with it, then fill it in, and I get the absolute perfect stay all day color. This does break up if I'm eating an oily salad dressing, if I'm eating a greasy slice of pizza. Oils will break this down they, as they would any lip product, but I feel like these wear really well all day, are amazingly comfortable, and I liked that one so much. I did something that I didn't do with the other two formulas. I picked up another one. Oh man, this one's called View From The Top, and it is a beautiful kind of nude pink shade. This is, and, and I'll tell you, you like a nude pink and a red, those are my most used shades, and I wanted to have it in this formula. I feel like it's a really comfortable, beautiful formula, and if you can get it when they're on sale at the drugstore, they're just so worth it. I got a couple of lipsticks from Milani. One of these is the one they released earlier in the year. This is their Color Fetish Shine lipstick. 
and this shade, it's, a, it's kind of like a glossy balm. It kind of reminds me in feel of the texture that you would get from a YSL Rouge Rue Libté Shine. Um, it's glossy, it has a ton more pigment, and I don't know, this is the only shade I have. I wanna go and buy them all, but I keep telling myself, you can't use them all. <laughs> Pick a shade you're gonna like and use that one shade. So this is the shade Nylon. If you prefer a matte lipstick, they release these fetish matte lipsticks in nude shades, and this one is in the shade Secret. I wore this so much when it first came out and it's a beautiful matte lipstick. It doesn't have the same long wear that the one from CoverGirl does or the ones from Maybelline do, but it's, it's no slouch. I don't want you to feel like this is one that's gonna leave you high and dry. It's not. First of all, it glides. It glides like a cream lipstick. That is one of the things that I love most about this. And then it's also really comfortable. I love the look of a matte lipstick, but as I'm aging, I find that my lips are a little bit more sensitive to a lack of moisture. Um, they are more reactive to lip products and they decide like, we're not, we're not getting along with you today. So my lips can look a lot more flaky and dried and kind of crusty if I don't have the right products on there. And for the longest time, I had not been able to find anything at the drugstore. Glossy products were easy to come by, but I couldn't find good matte ones. I really like this formula from Milani. They recently released some berries and some pinks and some reds, but they have a bunch of nudes in this matte fetish line and they're absolutely beautiful. This next lipstick is not a drugstore lipstick, but it is very, very affordable. If you happen to be a Beauty Pie member, you can get your hands on this. This is the future lipstick in their matte formulation. When I purchased this lipstick in the summertime, this is the shade Baby Beige. It is the prettiest, soft, like almost not there lipstick, because that's several swipes. If I do one swipe, it's like, what? And on my natural lip color, it, it's a little bit mattifying. It gives just a little bit of color and definition. It is so gorgeous. I love this lipstick. Now, the interesting thing about Beauty Pie is that their prices vary. I couldn't tell you that it's like $7.99 because when you go to order it, who knows how much it might be. I paid just over $6 for this lipstick. I think I paid like $6.40 something for it. Um, and other shades that are in this matte formula could be $6.29. The other one could be $7.12. And it all depends on how much it costs at the time they're having them manufactured because they get them manufactured just for Beauty Pie. And then it also, everything fluctuates based on how much shipping is, how much the packaging costs at the time. Time, how much the ingredients cost when they're manufacturing them. So it's not like going to the store and paying a set price for any Milani lipstick. These guys, even though they're all the same formula, they are gonna fluctuate just a little bit. They're usually within a dollar's price range. But this shade in Baby Beige has been a huge favorite and I really, really enjoy wearing it. So this next lipstick is kind of a conundrum for me. I didn't know where to put it. It didn't feel like a high-end lipstick price-wise and it didn't feel like an affordable lipstick. So I will put it like right smack dab here in the middle. This is uh, a $14 lipstick from Juvia's Place. This is the shade Kebby. I have used this shade so much and I have been loving kind of like these darker mauve tones, almost, you know, very rich and vampy on my pale skin tone, but I love this. I have used this so much. I got it this spring and I have used it nonstop. I use it all the time. I love it so much. There was even a day, and I do this a lot, if I'm wearing like a kind of a sheer or glossy lipstick, whatever I'm putting here, I'll like dip my fingers in and then tap onto my cheeks. I did that once with this. And this makes the most beautiful kind of plummy, rosy, nude blush. Oh my goodness, it was just beautiful. I really, really, really liked it. I feel like these matte lipsticks from Juvia's Place are great, but if you can get them on sale for $7, then it's just like a steal of a steal. The last lipsticks I have to share with you are all high-end lipsticks. And I have a kind of a habit I'm trying to break of buying high-end lipsticks. I love a beautiful lipstick and also that has beautiful packaging. I want the product on the inside to be the best, and I'm glad I'm discovering more affordable ones, but I'll tell you, I really am kind of a sucker 
when it's pretty on the inside and pretty on the outside. So let's talk some beautiful packaging. This lipstick is one from Besame. This came out in limited edition packaging this summer. This is from their Marilyn Monroe collection. This is the shade Red Hot Red. So this formula and this color already existed, but they put it in limited edition packaging to go with this. And apparently this is very similar in shade to what she wore on the set of Some Like It Hot. This kind of more warm leaning red. And this packaging here with the kind of diamonds on the top is similar to packaging that they found in her makeup collection after she passed. So I love that they kind of went with, you know, here's a shade that we know she wore in packaging that she had in her collection. I think that's really cool. But the one thing that I love about this beyond the whole Marilyn aspect, the formulation is so good. So this is one of those, it's matte straight from the tube, but if you take the time to blot it and apply another layer and blot it again, you have really long lasting, like longevity for the day it goes through and leaves nary a lip print on your coffee mug. It's not meant to be like an indelible lipstick, but if you apply it, blot it, apply it, blot it, it kind of stays super, super well. So I love that. But my favorite thing about it is just that kind of tomatoey red tone. I have really fallen in love with that. And so I'm wearing a light layer of this over the top of the deeper reds, but I love a red lipstick and I, I couldn't wear just one today. I had to wear all the reds. I was so excited when I heard that Glossier was releasing glossy lipsticks. This is their Ultra Lip and of course, I picked up a red shade and this is not supposed to be a red lipstick video, but it's kind of turning into that. This is the shade Fet. This looks so gorgeous on the lips. It's shiny, it's glossy, it's super, super comfortable. This lipstick spent the entire summer in my purse. <laughs> It literally did. And anytime I needed a little dose of hydration, a little punch of color, this is what I reached for. I love this lipstick so much. I like that it's glossy, but it's not like super, it's not like a lip gloss glossy. I mean, if you like pass over it multiple times, you can get it to really glossy. But I like that with a couple of passes, your lips look hydrated, they look healthy, they do get hydrated because there is hydrating properties in this. Uh, the color doesn't bleed out into uh, the rest of my face. I, I feel like it's a really nice glossy lipstick formula. Love this one so much. This is one that I forgot that I had, but it's so comfortable, comfortable. This is one of the lip cushions from M. This is the shade Mystic. This was a shade I think that they came out with in uh, either late 2020 or early 2021. And this is one of those where you can't roll it down, you can only roll it up. And it's basically like a lip gloss and a stick. This comes in multiple shades. I didn't want to get the red because obviously I've got a ton of reds, but this shade here, I'd put some on the bottom lip and then kind of smush my lips together and share it around. Because if I were to go like all over the lips like this, it got to be a little bit too much with this deep color, but I love this. I definitely want to get the one in Venetian Rose. I want to get um, maybe even the clear one. They, these come in a multitude of shades. I really like this and I would definitely get this shade in Mystic again. Super comfortable, glowy, glossy. If you like a glossy lip, you would probably like this a lot. We're down to just my Lisa Eldridge lipsticks. I, I know, I know. I almost feel like I need to apologize because I am forever listing them in the description box I'm wearing Lisa Eldridge lipstick. I love these so much. This summer, Lisa came out with a summer collection. And in that summer collection, she came out with a formula that she hadn't had in a couple of years. I think it was 2019, she came out with a Luxuriously Lucent in two shades. And I have both of those shades. But she just continued coming after that, just releasing more matte shades. And I was like, what happened? I love this creamy, sheery lipstick. Uh, can we have more, please? And so she did. For 2021 in the summer, she released beautiful shades. So I picked up four. I found that I used three of them a lot. The kind of red shade, the sheer red, looked more like a sheer coral on me. So it's okay. I use it, but it's not my favorite. This is the one that I use the most, constantly and nonstop. This right here is the shade Painterly. It really reminds me of the lip liner and lipstick in Velvet Blush. It has kind of like um, almost eggplant or aubergine undertones, but it has also got some brown in there 
This is so beautiful. And normally I don't wear it, you know, that deep. I wear it more like this. And it's the perfect My Lips But Better color. My favorite thing about this is that it's a nourishing, comfortable, easy to apply. It's almost like a lip balm. And, and such an elegant lip balm that it feels like. But I really, really love these. And they they don't last for a long time. I say they last for about four hours, um, but they reapply super easy over the top of themselves. They're my most comfortable, kind of sheer-ish, balmy lipstick. I love these so much. This is another one that I wore a ton all summer long. This one is the shade Spirited Away. It tends to have a little bit more warmth to it, almost a little hint of terracotta where this one tends to be just a little bit deeper. Love this one. And the one that I wasn't sure I was gonna like, it's kind of like the lightest one she put out. It's called Kitten Mischief. And it's a kind of a really sheer, like very neutral leaning nude. And this was one of those lipsticks, actually all of these lipsticks, all three of these here, I'd put on my lips and then like tap on my cheeks in the summertime when I just couldn't be bothered to wear a full face of makeup because it was hot and sweaty and you know, but these are beautiful. So not that long ago, Lisa released new shades for fall. And these are the two that I have been reaching for the most. I have fallen in love with this one here. This one is Velvet Petal. And it is more pink than I normally reach for, but it's so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. I've always loved Lisa's matte formula. The formulation is definitely, it's comfortable. It doesn't tug, it doesn't pull, it doesn't skip, it just glides. It is hydrating. I don't know how you make a matte lipstick hydrating, but she cracked the code and every single one of her matte lipsticks is so comfortable to wear. The other one that I fell in love with, and this has kind of been the one that I've been reaching for the most, this one is Blush Lightly. So it is a deeper mauve tone, but it definitely has, um, you'll notice like this shade here, it has almost kind of like some aubergine shades in there, some eggplant in there, uh, but it is so beautiful. And this one, if you take the time to kind of, you know, really buff and blur it out, it's so pretty. I love these lipsticks. I have so many Lisa Eldridge lipsticks. I mean, they're all right here and the ones that would go in here are in the empty spots, but they're my most reached for lipstick. Now I know they're expensive, they're $36 a piece, but I don't know that there's a formulation for like that hydrating cream or the f straight up matte that I like better than these. They're still my top of the top, most reached for, most used lipstick formulas. Thank you so much for watching today. I always love talking about lipstick. Literally my favorite thing to talk about on my channel. I love lipstick. And as you can tell, it, yeah, it's an Achilles heel for me. There was a lot we were talking about today, but thanks for getting all the way through it. Let me know if you have a favorite lip formula, if you have a favorite lip shade, or what was the one type of lipstick or the one specific lipstick that you reached for all year long, or lip gloss, lip liner, whatever, whatever you put on your lips this year. And it doesn't have to be a color. If you were using colorless balm, tell me your favorite in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being subscribed. Have an incredible day, and I will see you again soon.